so many chances in the first half, Claire. It could have been 3 0 at least by half time. Opportunity after opportunity, that one for Fleming. But even before that, there were a couple of chances. Yeah, I think seeing once again that overload in the wide areas, dragging out the Benfica players and then feeding the ball into that six yard box. Bethingham frustrated there. And then got lucky here. Just before the half hour, giving I'm just going to say she meant it because let's just give it to her. <laughs> Second goal of the tie, that was, having scored in Portugal last week. Element of fortune about it. Goalkeeper had stepped off a line. She was really good other than that, Neuhaus, actually. Yeah, goalkeeper was fantastic this evening. She's dealt with a lot of situations. I think Beth England on, on this occasion would be frustrated not capitalising on that header. <laughs> so many opportunities in the game for Chelsea, hardly any for Benfica there's one criticism Emma Hayes will have it might be the profligacy of her team I think off the back of that it'd be very much about actually getting the numbers in the box here we see Sam Kerr showcasing why she's one of the best in the world top goal scorers in multiple leagues holds lots of records Such but let's not take away well, the credit from it? yeah Agura Rutan fantastic ball she cut out three or four players there and then we just talk so often once uh, Vanille Harder came on about her ability to find them little pockets of space. And then again, the, the switch of play there and changing up the momentum, changing the direction of attack and the angle of attack and solving the problems. And look, we had the tools to unlock many situations, Chelsea, and I know that the girls will be going in tomorrow and analysing the game. They'll be analysing their own performances and seeing what they could have done better in situations. For me, that, that's exactly what this game is about then. Kirby and Harder both had an impact when they came on. Kirby setting up the third goal in stoppage time for England eventually, poking it home. Kirby easily away from the defender. Two up in support, Fleming and England right and arriving too. Kirby's might going to go alone. A mm, couple of deflections on that through to the goalkeeper. You know what, from a defensive position there, I think the defender did a really good job shepherding her away from goal, making her make a decision. She almost had too much time, didn't she? From there, great knock to, to beat the fullback and create her own space. But as I say before, sometimes it's actually harder to play teams when you have too much time because you have too much time to think and it's less reactive and less natural. Fidelgo. Tell you what, I can't wait for Champions League nights where this ground is packed with Chelsea fans. Well, the fact that the Round of 16 is not played until March will give you some optimism that maybe by that stage we will be able to get people back in again. Right enough for Carter. Dying embers now. I think for me in, in that situation there where Guru Rochin's come inside, she's found a little pocket of space. I'd love to see her try and turn and face up there. Chelsea through to the last 16 in the Champions League and in some style. 3-0 on the night here to add to the five goals scored in Portugal last week. A thumping victory for Emma Hayes' team. Bethany England with a couple and Sam Kerr scored two. And it was really as comfortable as the scoreline suggests. Chelsea go marching on in Europe. They can put this competition in the back pocket now until the spring. Final score here at Kings Meadow. On the night, Chelsea 3, Benfica 0. It is 8 0 to the Blues on aggregate. And that was.
the end of a brilliant night for Chelsea and a brilliant tie overall. Thanks for your company.